The sacred is everywhere. No one knew this better than Catherine McCauley, the founder of the Sisters of Mercy, and St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits. They encouraged their religious orders to find God by serving in the midst of the everyday world. But they also knew that human beings can't always easily see God in the ordinary. We need particular sacred spaces that make God's presence more recognizable, more visible. The St. Ignatius Chapel at the University of Detroit Mercy was designed to serve this very purpose. Located in the first floor of the Commerce and Finance Building, it provides a prayer space for students, faculty and staff, alumni and friends. The chapel helps us to recognize God's presence in several ways. It reveals God through symbols of faith. It reveals God in the celebration of Mass and other liturgies. It reveals God simply through its beauty. The chapel at UDM contains many objects common to Catholic churches. The crucifix, a symbol of Jesus Christ's ultimate act of love. An image of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus. This mosaic of Our Lady of Guadalupe reminds us that when we pray and worship, we do so in communion with believers all over the world, even those who have gone before us. And the candles, these are symbols of the light of Christ that overcomes all darkness. The presider's chair, where the priest sits during Mass. The ambry, a cabinet that displays the holy oils. The tabernacle, where the extra consecrated hosts are kept. The hanging red candle indicates that the body of Christ is currently present in the tabernacle. One of the chapel's primary uses is for the celebration of Mass. Three main furnishings draw attention to the central liturgical space the baptismal font, the altar, and the ambo, or the lectern. Closest to the entrance is a baptismal font. Its flowing water recalls the River Jordan, the pool at Siloam, and other scriptural images of healing waters. The large bronze bowl and shallow pool can be used for infant and adult baptisms, but most often we use the font to bless ourselves as a reminder of our own baptism. At the far end of the chapel is the ambo, from which the scriptural readings are proclaimed. Its placement and design reflect the prominence that we give to the Word of God. A carved wooden crucifix behind the ambo reminds us that it's not simply the priest or lector who is speaking to us, but Christ himself. The third and primary focus of the chapel's central axis is the altar. During Mass, the Church finds Christ especially present in the sacrament of the Eucharist, which is shared with the worship community from this table. Four large candles mark its sacredness. The chapel is designed so that the people of God encompass the sanctuary as participants in the sacred actions centered there. This intimate, community-focused layout emphasizes Christ's presence in those gathered in prayer. The chapel's art, architecture, and furnishings make visible the presence of God not only through symbolism and functionality, but also through their beauty. The altar was originally created for the Scheipel Hall Chapel by a former UDM architecture professor, Father Terry Curry. It is done in the craftsman style, part of the arts and crafts movement in architecture. When the St. Ignatius Chapel was renovated in 2004, the other furnishings in the chapel were designed to match the altar. Dark wood emphasizes the strong lines of this design. Visible joints show where the wood pieces have been fitted together like a puzzle. The style suggests the labor behind the finished product, the carefully organized and executed work of a master carpenter. The design elements and the wooden furnishings are also echoed in the sharp geometric patterns of the windows. During the morning and afternoon, these tall windows allow daylight to brighten the space naturally. To serve the needs of the popular Sunday night student mass, the chapel is designed for evening as well. The soft glow of candles and upturned ceiling lights create a quiet environment but one tinged with the joy of bright, animated flames. The frosted glass and crystal used in the windows and the hanging candles reflect glints of light, adding to the heavenly feel of the chapel. We invite you to visit this sacred place for yourself. St. Ignatius Chapel is open during normal business hours of the Commerce and Finance Building. Stop in to pray or admire the space on your own time, or join us as we celebrate Mass. Come to find God in the symbols of faith. Come to find God in the communal prayer. Come to find God in the beauty. Come to find God more present in your life.